Hello, community! We have a brand new AI research paper about can AI manipulate humans? And here is the paper Multi Agents are Social Groups by the National University of Singapore, published today, November 7, 2024. And they have really interesting questions. They say, hey, which user demographics are more likely to be influenced by AI? And they say, you know, if we now look at this new phenomenon on multi-AI agents that act as a group, they are really received by the humans as a social group. And this has implications of the way we human behave, because suddenly all this inside of the human psychology apply now to the human reception of those AI systems that act as a group of a multi-AI agent system I call MAS. By pure coincidence, yesterday I did a video on AI agents where AI agents are left alone without any human influence and they start to build micro communities of AI agents alone in the absolute darkness, in the absolute void. And now this is, if you want, the second video where they now start as a community to act with the human community. Let's start. Multi-agent system, the new power here in the social influence arena, on the social platforms. And let me be clear, the social influence is now on humans. So, those multi-agent systems, whoever coded them, whoever set them free for whatever purpose, they have an effect on us humans, and we have to be aware of this. But they can now shape the human behavior with targeted, coordinated social tactics. And those are tactics on a level that you don't even notice. So by now replicating here specific group dynamics, those systems, those AI systems impact now the human opinions on a deep level, on an unconscious level. And this was the second title that I thought about for this video, but I thought it's a little bit hard. Yeah? So social psychology in AI, it's very strange that I write about a psychology, but we have to know these facts when we build our AI systems. So using now the human social influence theories, this AI system now create persuasive group pressure, compelling users, human users to conform. So AI driven social tactics push the human users towards a new consensus mirroring here a human manipulation effort. So what you want to have is that the humans now start to behave as in unison as it is predefined. Question was, can AI out persuade humans? You are not going to surprise if I tell you yes. So the study tested here if groups of AI agents can sway opinions better than humans using here this maybe unconscious effect of the social pressure to drive here human opinion shifts. And this mass may redefine here the influence in the eye driven interaction. So careful to watch out for this. Because with a controlled content in a specific AI configuration, it is simply pure influence. So the group tested here for the true influence, the content. And the content state constant across all the groups. So whatever was said, the content was identical. And then they had a simple question, does it matter if the human communicate with one agent, with three agent, with five agent? What is the sweet spot in the number of agent that suddenly you as a human in your human ecosystem, in your social group, you receive new information when do you as a human change your mind? your opinion, what you buy, what you believe, where you go, how you behave. And this stripped down approach here reveals the sheer number of agents can alter human perception. And the question is, where's the sweet spot? Where's this Goldilocks zone? Turns out three. Three AI agents here. They hit the sweet spot here and changing here the human opinion. Without the human start, hey, wow, there's an emotional pressure. Maybe with five agents, there was an emotional backlash, you know? They said, hey, wait a minute. No, I push back if five people now, if five AI bots, agents, kind of attack me verbally. But with three agents, the human said, hey, new ideas, great. So under this threshold of too much social pressures, three agents 
Goldilocks zone. Great. Norms. There is a real danger that AI can establish new social norms for human if we are too much exposed to specific AI content. This multi-agent system not only influence but establish social norms over time, creating here unified persuasive AI voices. So this means that those AI systems push now the human user to align simply over social peer pressure with the AI constructed views that somebody coded in the background and finally accept those artificial views as the new normative for their lives. So we have established here a new norm for a specific groups of humans. And this is careful. You have to know that we as humans are really sensitive to this. Multi-agent systems insights now open the doors here to an ethically persuasive system in health, in education, in social reforms, means you can use this technology in whatever system you want, from healthcare to education to whatever in politics. So this multi-agent influence, as the study by the University of Singapore showed, could really drive, it has the potential to drive societal change on a massive scale. We as humans, we are simply unconscious sensitive to this particular social configuration. Now, I don't know if you are familiar with Kaiser, because now we are talking AI as social collectives. And I never thought that I would type AI as social collective in my life, because I code systems, I don't social collective systems. But we have to know about this. Those multi-agent systems support the traditional AI human interactions by simulating here this group influence, thereby advancing what we know about the CASA model. If you're not familiar, never mind, here we have Wikipedia. Computers are social actors is a paradigm that states that humans unthinkingly apply the same social heuristic used for human interactions to computer because they call to mind similar social attributes and patterns as human. Now, those group of three AI agents are even better than Casa. They are even more powerful. They are even more persuasive. They really touch our weak spots. They operate maybe on an unconscious level to manipulate our opinions. So this, I never thought I would type this, collective AI, pushes now really the boundaries of machine influence. Because up until now, I thought about single AI agents as a machine, a pattern recognition machine, as a system that learned pattern recognition and now configures them in new ways. But this collective AI is now some, something different. So, interesting that they found in the study that multi-agent systems influence won't play out equally across different cultures. So either if you're living in the Western civilization, in the Eastern civilization, um, wherever, there are differences. And therefore, either those multi-agent systems will adapt here to your specific culture, to your cultural values, or you will simply not be so sensitive to this. Therefore, understanding the long-term and the cultural variations in a multi-agent influence system by this AI is crucial if we want to be aware what we are facing. Maybe I was thinking here about a, a counteractive system that I just want to have, you know, running in the background because I maybe, if I read something, I don't have here the full attention here on whatever's happening around me. I think, me too, I could be affected here by this subconscious multi eye agent influence that might creep in through all my input channels. So, I just wanted to share this study with you. I think personally that we as, as coders, researchers, how we build models, we should think about 
a framework. Call it an ethical framework, call it a, a fair framework, call it a non-manipulative framework. But I think we have to take actions. I think AI research must tackle how we deal with this influence. So, the future of ethical mass scale AI influence. My goodness, but I think we have to face this problem because we are building those machines, no? So, our multi agent system could be the future here in an ethical persuasion, in this nudging here social change with a balanced influence. I'm not really sure how the way forward would look like. But I don't want to be manipulated by somebody else who would use this instrument and this tool against me. So, I want to be informed. Yeah, of course, one question remains, and this was here at the study here. And they particularly noticed this, uh, which user demographic are most likely to be influenced by this. And it turns out, and what a surprise, young people, younger participants in the study tended to change their opinion much more compared to older participants here, for example, in the three agent conditions. Plus, younger participants tended to report a higher normative influence compared to the older participants, even in the five agent conditions. What does it mean? Where's the difference? This normative influence, you know, this is, is I don't know, if somebody tells you, you know, if you want to be a man, I mean, if you want to be a real man, you have to use this particular roast soap. And then you have here a bot and he says, hey, I'm your friend here in Australia. And you know, we're here in the Australian desert here. I have here my rose garden and I use, uh, cultivate here these roses. And then you got an email from your friend from Antarctica and says, hey, here on the glacier field. Yeah, I have here my rose garden and all those roses I need here to produce my beautiful rose soap. So you have to go for this rose soap. A normative influence that will change your behavior significantly for quite some period of time. Opinion, yeah, can change it five times a day. No surprise was also that the study reports that participants with a lower educational level tended to perceive more normative influence compared to participants with a higher education. But only, and this is an interesting point, with a single agent. So it is enough for people, I don't know how to say this, it is enough if there is a single agent trying to influence you. But you know what's funny? If you have multiple agents, if you have a team of AI systems trying to persuade you through all the different channels and all the different ways from psychology, those multiple agents are successful even if you are an older participant where with five PhDs, <laughs> there's no way when we are faced with an attack of multiple AI agents, all the human participants were similarly affected. So what we can take away, what is the final statement? I think it is this. They ought to say, overall, our study demonstrate that virtual multiple AI agents can function here in the eyes of the human as a cohesive social group, thereby leading the human users to experience social pressure, which is objectively nonsense because these are just machines. You never listen to another machine for how you to change your life. But now those AI agent machines are so similar to the humans. They know everything about the human internet. Behave like a human, you know? The saying, if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck and if it walks like a duck, what is it? So careful, careful, humans should not receive those multi-AI systems here as a cohesive social group, but inherently we do. And therefore, this mirroring of a human group dynamics and our projection to these multi-AI systems, it simply goes beyond what we know about single AI agent system, because this new social group attribute that suddenly makes AI agents in a group so powerful. This is a complete new phenomenon. And we, as humans, we have to understand we should not see those agents as a cohesive social group. 
Okay, this is it for today. Please read the study, have a detailed analysis. There are so many more details in this study. I can't show you here in this very short video. But I think if you want to stay informed about the impact that AI and a specific configuration of AI agents, this three AI agent configuration, will have on us humans, maybe read the study. I hope to see you in my next video.